Hey, welcome in everyone. You came here because you want to get the Fierce Deity armor and weapon set in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'll tell you all the ways on how you get this legendary and seriously overpowered set right from the start. There are two ways of getting this complete set. First is by simply scanning your Link Majora's Mask amiibo to collect the loot that it drops. Keep in mind, it is randomized and you can only scan the amiibo once per day, but there's a trick to getting it really fast. Just change your console dates so you can get as many scans as possible in a short period of time. Simply scan the amiibo, check the contents, save your game, close your game, move the date by one day forward, hit OK, reload your game, and reload your save file, not the autosave and then scan your amiibo once again. Soon enough, you'll get the entire set, including the legendary Fierce Deity Sword, extremely early in game. This armor boosts your attack stats and paired with the sword, it'll do huge damage, even one-shotting some enemies. You can even fuse it with another Fierce Deity Sword and get higher than 70 plus attack damage. That's huge damage. Now, what if you don't have the amiibo or even amiibo cards? There's actually a quest in game that leads you to the legendary armor. It takes a few steps, so I'll walk you through it. But before we do, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. And that way I'll keep making videos like this one. All right, so in order to begin the quest, you want to head just south of Death Mountain to Cephla Lake near the Foothill Stable or to the closest shrine named Kissinona. There, you can head north to the Plume of Smoke, where two guys are camping by a cave. They'll tell you that they are searching for Misko's treasure, but no luck, because there are too many chests filled with nothing but one rupee. They hint that a dog would be able to help sniff out the treasure. Luckily for us, there is a dog nearby. If you head over to it and feed it plenty of meat, it'll take a liking to you and start heading towards the cave, and leads you to the specific chest with the treasure. Once you open the chest, the two greedy treasure hunters who were following you all along come in and take the treasure from you. Turns out it was just a pair of pants, but they leave behind a seemingly worthless message in a bottle. That message tells us about the fierce deity sword and how to obtain it if you can collect all the special pieces of clothing mentioned. It hints at three different locations and that we must return to this cave wearing the full set. The hints are beneath a bedchamber of a callous citadel, another one in the skull's left eye, and the last one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. For the first hint, we head to Akala Citadel Ruins in the southern Akala Highlands. Closest shrine to it is the Dummy Zuin Shrine. Navigate and explore one of the rooms in the northwest building ruins. Crouch below one of the busted walls and fall into the opening on the ground to receive your Fierce Deity Chest Armor piece. Next, we head to the north side of Akala, just northeast of Death Mountain, to a location in a map titled Deep Akala that resembles a skull, aptly named the Skull Lake. The closest shrine is the Kamatuki Shrine. Make sure you have weapons or items that are able to clear some boulders before going inside. You're gonna need that. Once there, you want to climb to the top of the skull's left eye on this huge giant sized pillar. Land inside the Skull Lake Cave and make your way down. There will be lots of enemies, you can just run past them if you wish. Get to the boulders that are blocking your path, clear them out to get to a larger room. More enemies here, including a Stalnox. You can ignore them if you wish and sneak around. But in the middle of the room, the Stalnox is circling around a larger stone structure. That's where our treasure is. Get to it and get your hands on now the Fierce Deity Mask. Link looks like an absolute badass now. One more piece to go. For the last one, you will want to head to Central Hyrule. To the west, you'll find the old tree stump just north of Mount Daphne's. Make your way inside the tree stump. Ignore the enemies, ignore the like-like if you want, and head south through some vines. Make your way through where you're going to see a larger root. 
climb that all the way to the top and make your way to an opening that leads to the treasure. You now have the boots and the entire Fierce Deity set. Let's get that sword. Head back to Cephla Lake Cave near the Foothill Stable by way of the Kisinona Shrine. Put on your Fierce Deity outfit and the secret door will open with access to the sword. Now you have the complete set. This set is absolutely overpowered. This outfit actually gives you attack boost if you're wearing it. And here's a cool thing. You can actually fuse two fierce deity swords together to get over 70 plus damage. It's insane. Let's see what kind of damage this entire set with a fused fierce deity sword can do. And just like that, with a few hits, it takes down an entire Hinox. That will do it for me, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And consider subscribing if you want more helpful guides and more Zelda content like this. I'll see you on the next one.